Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Fenrir Pendragon and welcome to another Sims 4 Housing Showcase. At this time I'm bringing you some magical themed ones and these slots are brought to you by Is It A Chimming? And you can check out all of her work on the Sims 4 Gallery. She has a ton of houses and Sims that she's made over the time that Sims 4 has been out. So if you're interested in these lots or any of the lots that she's made, uh, go check those out on the gallery. And there will be a link down in the description below in case you're curious. Uh, okay, so before we get started, I always have to make sure to mention that before anyone does any videos or galleries or anything like that, showcasing anyone's lots of sims or, or whatever, make sure you always have permission from the person who actually created those lots. Because uh, one, it's respectful to the simmer, and two, they may or may not have some sort of stipulation or may not want you to uh, make a video on their particular lots. So always make sure you have permission before you actually make a video such as this one. All right, so let's get started. So the first slot we have here, this one is called uh, Cocoon Cottage. And if you look over here, you can actually see why, because this is a makeshift cocoon and it came out pretty cool, I think. Uh, she did a pretty good job on that. Um, but the whole thing has a kind of like a uh, fairy tale uh, storybook kind of look to it uh, with the look of the house and the tree and all the other uh, items. Uh, so. Before anything, you should know that this lot is a 40 by 30, it has two bedrooms and two bathrooms, and it does require you to have the outdoor retreat uh, game pack. Uh, I believe it's a game pack. Uh, so if you don't have it, there will be a lot of things that are missing, and they will be replaced with base game stuff, so it will not look like this at all. This tree, I believe, is part of outdoor retreat, and these lighting things as well, so... Uh, make sure that you have the pack if you want it to look exactly like you see here. Um, because again, if you don't have the pack, it will be just base game stuff. It will not look like it does here. Uh, also, another thing to remember is to keep your um, testing cheats enabled. Because if you do not have the cheat enabled, uh, the lot also will not look quite like this. Uh, there's certain uh, cheats that are associated uh, with lots similar to this so make sure you always have cheats enabled when you're downloading someone's lot so this way it looks exactly like you see in this video all right so let's gonna take we're gonna take a look around uh the lot and then we'll go and do the usual stuff all right so as you can see here pretty cool giant tree uh that she made again using cheats so be aware of that um and then there's this cool river here that she made and you'll see when i activate it all the flowing water. I, I, I always like these uh, these fountains because I like the way the, the water looks when it's flowing like that. So that's pretty cool. Uh, over here, you'll see there's a little uh, seating area over here that looks cool with all the lights that she set up. And then you have a little gazebo here with the little fountain, as you can see, is active. And little seating area. It's kind of cute. Uh, and over here you have some nice little lighting set up, bamboo uh, stalk I think that is, or one of those types of trees. Uh, some cute little uh, planters in the windows like you would imagine a, like Cinderella or Snow White or something to that effect. So that's kind of cute. Uh, some areas over here where you could plant some seeds or plant some uh, fruits, vegetables, all that stuff. And of course, over here, you got the back area, some seats, as you can see. I'll come around so you can see it better. Uh, so, a little monkey bars. And can't really see what the angle I'm using. But um, you can see there's a little pool in the seating area, of course. And a little bridge, which is cool. I like how these bridges come out. And of course, lighting, plenty of lighting. And we're back down to the front. So as you can see, it's a pretty small lot, but it's still pretty cute and um, pretty cool if you're into the whole uh, fairy tale thing or into any magical type lots. Uh, so if you're into those, definitely check this one out. All right, so I'm going to turn it to daytime so this way you can see what the lot looks like during the day so you can get a nice good comparison. All right, so let's do that right now. Okay, so this is what the lot would look like during the daytime. As you can see, it still looks very cool. Um, I always like the lighting in this game because uh, during the night and during the day, the, the houses look different because of the, the way the light shines on it. So as you can see, it looks blue-ish uh, during the night and during the day it looks kind of white. 
So that's kind of a, a neat effect that this game is uh, is capable of doing. And the, even this area here with the shading, it looks really cool. And I would do a quick pass around, of course, so you can see what it looks like. It's almost it almost looks like a completely different lot during the day. It's pretty cool. All right, so let's uh, take a look on the inside. Okay, let's go down, down, down. Uh, so not that far down. All right, so <laughs> so as you can see, again, it's a pretty small build, but it's very cozy and cute. Um, and you have the usual assortment of things. You've got the kitchen right here. Pretty neat kitchen. Actually, it's cool because on, on the inside, it's pretty modern. Oh, let me take away the grid. It's uh, pretty modern. And as you can see, the, the refrigerator and the decor, even the seats. You know, it looks old school, old fashioned uh, in the on the outside. But when you come in, it's like, okay, this is a cool, you know, modern kind of a uh, house. Well, not modern, I guess uh, more up-to-date house than you would imagine. And so you see the cool seating here and a little table. Of course, you have the kitchen counter. The, the kitchen, of course. And I, I like this. She <laughs> she used the, um, the wooden barrel for the garbage can as opposed to something more, um, more up-to-date. And it, it ties in the whole feel. And you got the little... Uh, coat rack thing over here and a little seat and a little bathroom over area over here kind of tucked away as you can see if I do this see there's a doorway right there and there's a bookshelf of course all right so and of course over here before I forget uh, you got the doorway to the outside and this way you can see a better view of the uh, the backyard that I was trying to show earlier so you see there's uh, plenty of seating the cute little pool and the uh, garden area over here which I like the way she decorated it because it actually looks legitimately like an actual garden which is really nice and of course you have planters for trees too in case you want to build um, plant some trees and a garbage can over here as well all right so let's move to the second floor all right so here you have your bedroom of course you got a nice little balcony where you can sit and relax uh, you got another bedroom here with two different beds, bathroom, which they both have to share, um, and a little seating area. And of course, you have your little uh, easel here so you can work on some skills. So uh, as you can see, it's a cute little place. Um, it's, yeah, it's small, but I think it's pretty cozy and I think it looks really nice. Um, and it's perfect for people who like who like me don't play too many Sims at once. I usually play on, on average like two Sims maybe three um so this is kind of like the perfect house for me if i want to play something more magical you know so it's pretty cool uh again it's called uh cocoon cottage if you're interested uh check it out on her gallery and uh we'll go and check out the next lot okay and here we have the next lot it, this one is called be enchanted it's a 50 by 50 lot five bedrooms, four bathrooms, and this one also requires you to have the outdoor retreat uh, game pack. Uh, so again, make sure that you have your cheats enabled for this one uh, because of the various uh, cheats involved with it. And uh, the other thing is if you do not have the outdoor retreat pack, it will not look like it does here. Uh, there are certain items in this pack that um, are in this particular lot, as you can see from this tree and these lights and so on and so forth, uh, different structures and uh, different items. So always be aware of that. Uh, so this slide is actually pretty cool. It's a lot bigger as uh, I've already mentioned and it does look pretty cool too. So we're gonna do a quick uh, look around and then we'll check out the inside just as usual. Uh, so already um, you can see the really cool lighting here uh, and the um, the really cool lighting and the tree and the little uh, water area over here, uh, some more uh, water spots and such over here. As you can see, I'm going to put play and it looks really, really nice, nice and flowing. So it's pretty cool. Um, some more of the lighting around here as well, which is the, um, the little plant ones, which fit perfect with the whole fairy tale storybook theme. So that's pretty cool. 
bunch of uh, overgrown the um, sunflowers as well. Really cool little fountain area over here, which is really nice. I like the way she was able to pull that off. Uh, nice sitting area over here with a giant tree and some more cool little structures built up. A little uh, side area for the kids. Got the little jungle gym uh, pirate boat thing. Some monkey bars. And a uh, really cool little tower over here. With, um, as you can see, there's a staircase that leads up there. Uh, and we'll check that out in a little bit. As soon as I'm done with the flyby. And they have a really nice pool area over here with a foresty uh, garden on top. Really nice. I like that. I like how that came out. Uh, and then, of course, you have a little seating area here for a little barbecue. Uh, nice little house over here as well with its own little balcony. And some planters so you can put your stuff there. And I'm going to do a quick pass on this side. Another bridge and a waterway. And a really nice little area tucked over here with a little campfire and some, uh, some seating areas as well. So I think this one is really cool. Um, if you're into the um, magical stuff or fairy tale uh, things and you have a big family, this is absolutely perfect for that. Really super cool. Alright, so as usual, we're going to check out the lot uh, during the day and see what that looks like. Okay, so this is what it would look like during the day. Again, really super cool how the, um, the wallpaper look changes. You know, it was one color during the day and a different color during the light, uh, during the night. Uh, the lot still looks really nice. Uh, it still keeps that whole feel and the whole theme of the um, the fairy tale. Really nice. I, actually, it feels very vibrant too, which is really nice because you could just use it as a fairy tale home, or you could just use it as uh, just a normal home. It's pretty cool. All right, so uh, let's take a look on the inside. Okay, so let's go down here. All right, so you got the entryway, of course, and uh, it's pretty cool because you got um, these little lights here, which is neat. They look, kind of look like uh, fishing lines, but they're actually just lights. <laughs> so I like the look of that. Um, and the, actually, before we go on the inside, let's check out this area over here. Uh, so the house over here, if you remember, it was a nice little house where you could walk up and such. But you can actually go down into there, and that's where all your, uh, your little plants are. So you can plant all your little plants in there. So that's pretty neat. It's nice and tucked away like that. Of course, you have um, the little pool with plenty of little areas to sit and relax for, for your sims, of course. Uh, and you have a nice little home over here tucked away in the back. With all the essentials, you've got the the kitchen with the refrigerator. You got a little seating area. You have a, a TV, as you can see here, and of course you have an upstairs. And we'll check out the upstairs. And it has an easel. It's got its own little bathroom. It's got its own bedroom, and a nice little area here, which leads to the balcony that I had mentioned earlier. So that's kind of cool. And it has a TV upstairs too, by the way, in case you if you were curious. So that's neat. Got a home and then a home in the back of the home. <laughs> Alright, so and over here you have a nice little area where you can plant some stuff. A little uh, tucked away garden. Of course, you got your little walkway through there, your passageway to the, this area. It's pretty neat. So I like the way she was able to uh, just tie that all in. And of course, you got a little seating area by the, there as well. Alright, so on the inside of this one, of course, you have the essentials as always. You have a cool little kitchen. And it's nice, all the little details here, like the little jug, I mean, a keg and flowers and stuff. Got a cute little table going on over here. Some uh, little crates and stuff for decor. It's nice. And it's the, the little touches, I think, uh, that really make uh, anybody's house look cooler uh, from the gallery. And you got the TV on the little, um, the, the luggage crate. So that's kind of cool. And a giant oversized clock. <laughs> well, it's a bookshelf, of course. Piano. It's a pretty fancy place. You got a uh, bedroom over here. Got a bathroom. 
doorway to the outside, of course, naturally. All right, so let's head to the second floor. And here we have the other bathroom. We have a computer room, which is cool. Um, you don't need to be all like, you know, out of the uh, the comforts of technology just because you're in a fantasy home. Nah, you can have it still, see? Pretty neat. Uh, you have a big fancy bathroom. Look at this thing. It's big. It's like bigger than the bedroom. <laughs> you got a bathtub over here. Let me kind of turn it. So you got a bathroom, uh, bathtub over here, sorry. And over here you have the uh, the toilet, you have the sink, you got the shower. It's like huge. All right, so you, of course you have a uh, balcony over here, really cute balcony. And another bedroom, you know, you could put your kids over here or have guests or, you know, if you have two unmarried sims or whatever, get out of them over there. Really big screen TV. <laughs> Who says you have to have, like, low-tech when you're in a fantasy home? Those people don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> and you, of course, have uh, another bedroom over here with more beds. And a bathroom, which uh, both of these uh, bedrooms share. So you could take this as, you know, f you know, four kids, two over here, two over here. Or you could have just, like, two couples here or whatever. Whatever you want to do. So it's kind of cool. Pretty neat. Loving the, the look of the inside, uh, like in a contrast to the outside. It's got a uh, bit of a, a rustic look, but at the same time, uh, fantasy. And it still has a lot of the modern conveniences, like the internet and uh, giant screen TVs. <laughs> so if you enjoyed the lot, uh, again, this one's called Be Enchanted. It's by Is It A Chimmy. She's got a lot of great stuff. Uh, so be sure to check out all the work that she's done. Um, make sure that you don't uh, re-upload other people's lots because that's a dick thing to do. Yes, I'm going to go there. Um, and I hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you for watching as always. It's much appreciated. You guys are awesome. And uh, stay tuned for whatever I do next. Until next time, as always, everyone, take care.